what's cracking? It's your boy Zach. Uh, scratch that. Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Quest for Greatness with your host, Zach Krug. Nah. What's happening, everybody? Good morning. That's what happens when you miss sleep. You act stupid. My name is Zach Krug. And if this is your first time on the channel, the whole point to this channel is trying to share what Christianity is in an honest and sincere way uh, by revealing truth, by sharing my personal ups and downs, the good and the bad, so you can see that we all struggle. And uh, also by uh, correcting some common misconceptions about Christianity, mostly those held by uh, those of us professing faith, not necessarily the outside world. You don't expect them to understand. And so we want you to, to um, have a great journey as well. We want you to have a close relationship with God and we want to explore this and hopefully uh, it'll connect with you. It'll help you and uh, you'll get connected with us. You'll share with us and let us know. So uh, what would I like you to do? Subscribe. Uh, like or dislike the video, just you know, show some interaction and uh, answer some questions in the comments below or provide your own thoughts, disagreements, whatever the case is. Sunny said, and Sunny knows what she's talking about and does a very good job, props to you. I'm sorry I can't pronounce your last name yet, but the uh, credits are below. Sunny said, I gotta start with a hot intro. So first, I gotta hook you, like, Hey man, them are wonderful trees. Are you hooked? And then for the O in my hot intro, I gotta tell you what the outcome is. Well, the outcome literally is looking at a uh, covenant relationship with God and figuring out what that means um, and comparing and contrasting this time, last time to personal relationships, this time to what you see in the Bible and uh, understanding more about vows made to God. So hopefully you'll understand that better. If you don't already, it'll remind you to be a refresher. Then the T in my hot intro is a testimonial. I'm supposed to tell you who I am and why you should listen to me. Well, I am absolutely nobody. Nobody in particular. That's the thing with <laughs> trying to share Jesus is it doesn't make sense to follow him and then pop off about who I am. I I'm a follower. Um, I preach, I teach, I've been doing it for a long time, but that's not a way of me saying, uh, you should listen to me because I'm an expert. Uh, experts are overrated. I'm somebody who's trying, and uh, if you're interested, and as you go along, you'll see in this channel what, I'm, what I do and what I'm about. Question of the video, QTV. When you think about Christianity, do you think more about your individual relationship with God or do you think more in terms of church? Answer below, comment down there, scroll past the videos, you'll see the comment section, and just answer with a yes or no, or uh, leave your thoughts if it's a uh, sort of in between. I would have videoed more today, but I'm a super slob. Actually, I'm pretty tired. Mother's Day and the jewelry business don't mix. So I'm whooped. I wanna be one of those guys though. I know this is like in the middle of a conversation, but I want to be one of those people that just has that nonstop motor. I don't know if that's all mental or if certain people just made that way. The guy I work for, Chris, man, has a motor and I'm so impressed and even intrigued by it. And uh, man, I go, but not quite like that. Can you still see me? Doesn't matter. You know, I'm still gonna keep talking, but I'm exhausted. So I'll get to the rest of this tomorrow. It could be just a prayer thing. Maybe I need to start praying harder and more for that kind of energy. I, I don't know how God works in all, all ways, but uh, James 4 says you don't have because you don't ask. And I, I want to do good with it, so I wouldn't be asking, as the King James says, amiss. But anyway, that's enough of that. I'll catch you tomorrow. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. <laughs> I just saw a church sign that said pews. P-E-W-S. 
a medieval torture device still found in church. I love it. I don't know what our attraction is to pews. Why, why we still all gotta have them. Can't have chairs. Gotta be a pew. I'm gonna do a video on church times one of these days. Cause man, you talk about, you know, one of the fastest ways to make us look like idiots is some of these church signs. They got books, entire books that are full of all these just crappy sayings uh, about, uh, I don't know, rhyming concepts with, I don't know. I can't even come up with them. I try to block them out of my mind. They just make us look like a pew full of idiots. Let me get to this covenant back to some seriousness here because I left you yesterday talking about that, ask you a question. And having this relationship with God, this contract agreement means there are two sides. And we'll, I'll talk later about that and detail that later just to go over it. But God has his side. For now, let's just say it this way. I think probably one of, there's a lot of places that, that show these two sides. Uh, but if you want it in a quick format, you could look at Philippians 2, 13, uh, 12 and 13, where we uh, work out our own salvation and 13, where God helps us go read those. And you could look uh, at Ephesians 2, I think it is eight through 10. And it talks about all aspects and God's side of the equation, his vow, we could just call grace. And our side of the equation, our side of the agreement, our responsibility, we could call faith. And more about that because if those are not, if those are two of the most misunderstood concepts in, in all of Christianity, and there is a lot of need to go over those and, and be thorough about them, uh, but more on that later. All right, so I gotta go to one more video after this and i know that i'm building i hope you're not losing patience with me i hope you stay with me uh because i i, I gotta build all this i gotta say all this in, in order to get a clear precise understanding of, of what this means because it, it is incredibly important and so many people some of you who are seeing this are missing out on everything god has to offer because you are thinking in watered down terms of church and checking some boxes instead of this real uh, down to earth, honest relationship with God. And you think of having to do things instead of wanting to do them. And you don't understand how you can't bridge that gap. You think of, uh, have I done enough? Uh, instead of thinking in the concepts and the ways in which God speaks about a relationship and on and on I could go so be patient I'm coming back I'm going to talk more about God's side of the equa of the uh, equation God's side of the, the covenant God's side of the agreement now and then in a video after that our side the, the vows I keep talking about the vows what are the vows and there's a ton of disagreement on that so we need to come to Bible terms and find out what the truth is. Now, what your church teaches, my church teaches, none of that stuff matters. Just what is the truth about it? All right, I hope this video finds you well. I hope it's helped. I hope it's building. I hope you stick with it. Come back for the next one. We're gonna talk about these vows that God has made. And then after that, uh, the vows that, that we have made. And if nothing else, it's a reminder. All right, I'm out.